Let's factor the equation x squared minus 7x plus 6. And we use these rules here to guide our work. So first off, we want to set up a skeleton equation. I've already done that. Next, we're going to add the signs to our skeleton equation. If this center term is negative, just the center term, then we're going to put negatives here in the middle of our skeleton. Once we have those signs, we can find the factors for the last term. That's going to be the 6. And those factors, we want them to add up to the middle term. I know that 1 times 6, that would give me 6. 1 plus 6, that's the 7. So I'm just going to put a 1 here and a 6 here, and we're done. We factored this equation, x squared minus 7x plus 6. Minus 1 plus minus 6, that gives us the minus 7. We should check our work, though, with the FOIL method. We're going to multiply the first terms, the outside, inside, and then last. That gives us and we can combine these terms right here to get, and that's what we started with up here. So we factored this equation correctly. Let's quickly find the values for x that'll make this side of the equation zero. So we'll have zero equals zero, a true statement. We could say x minus one equals zero. So x would equal a positive one over here. x minus six equals zero. So x equals positive six. If you put 1 in for x, 1 minus 7 plus 6, that gives us 0. Likewise, if you put 6 in for x, you did the math, this would equal 0 as well. So we did this part correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you would get these same numbers down here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Thanks for watching.